Bow and infinite arrows. Yeah, all right. I mean, it's the only bow that I'm going to be able to actually do anything with because, you know, infinite arrows. I hate this weapon. I think it's terrible. It's pretty much just range, and that's it. There's nothing else to it. There's... Ah, whatever. I'm going to be doing a bunch of different runs here. Might as well switch it up with a bunch of different weapons. I mean, I'm just going to be doing the... Like a uh, regular sword the entire time. I might as well just do a bunch of runs with a balance blade or something like that. So, yeah, bow and arrows. That does range damage. That's it. I don't know, there's not too much else to say here. Oh, yeah, curse chest right off the bat. Great. No, that's not sarcastic. I really like having the curse chest here. Boy, curse chests have gotten so much better now that they hold skill ups in there I mean previously still nothing previously it's like I would still do them just cuz hey it's eh, right that's gonna get annoying real fast there are a lot of weapons in this game that just straight up do not work with the secret secret secrets eh. yeah it used to be that I would uh, go for curse chests, but I mean, all you were getting from there was, what, a couple extra cells, and, uh, a couple extra cells, and then maybe, like, a decent weapon at best. And now, they're, like, get 100% of the time, if you possibly can, because they're that good. The only real gripe that I think I have with them is doing... The only real gripe I think I have with them is that it might be a little too good? <laughs> like, if they just gave you a uh, powered up weapon, like they do with the... Uh, let's go a more traditional route this time. Promenade, uh, ramparts, and then rest of game. Sure. But yeah, like, the only thing, the only issue I have with them is that they might be too good? Like, getting a stat up is really valuable. Like. There's only so many stats in the game, depending on which route, route you're taking, which kind of fluctuates, like plus one, minus one, based on the area area that you're in, but having curse chests give you stat ups is kind of a... Yeah. Oh man, there is no range on this thing. Well, not range, there's no uh, hitbox. The hitbox is small comparatively. But yeah, having uh, those give you stat ups kind of throws a wrench into the whole operation because what happens is that now you are able to get super powered based on the amount of curse chests you get in the game. The way they kind of balance doing like more powerful weapons is to make it not more powerful weapons, like special uh, out of depth weapons, I suppose you could call them, in shops is by giving them an extra modifier each time you get it, regardless of what level you're at. Something to really entice you to buy that sort of stuff in a shop. I think if you just made it so that curse chests give you a weapon of appropriate depth with an extra modifier, that would be a decent change for me. <laughs> well, of course, what am I gonna say? Of course, why am I gonna complain? It's like this only benefits me, especially doing these stupid runs, because I get double... Come on! <laughs> oh. Boy, the damage is terrible on this. Because, I mean, it only helps me <laughs> on these runs. I'm a casual player, though. I don't know. I feel like I might be a little overpowered. Yeah, I'm probably totally alone in that because, hey, you still have to get cursed, and although I don't really have much issue with getting cursed, I mean, it's not even so much that, like, oh, I'm so good at this game, I can get cursed all I want, blah, 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 no. It's more like, I don't really care, like, death in this game just means almost nothing, I mean, I'm just, even in that shovel run, I was like, oh, yeah, that was a thing that happened. <laughs> This is a very fast game and with a lot of replayability, so I have no issue with that. So it's like if I die from stupidly taking a curse chest, it's not not any issue for me. 
equals your, yeah, if you're just scraping by, it's like, oh, this is the first time you're gonna kill the Watcher. Yeah, then it's really gonna matter if you die in one hit. Yeah, whatever. I don't know, I guess it's the, keep it as it is, there. Just say that. Ah, <laughs> oh. Ramparts are probably not, oh. Yeah, these things I like to call uh, biter zoos after David's Treasure Zoo, NetHack. It's uh, kind of the equivalent of in a roguelike uh, vaults, basically, where you just get a small room packed with a ton of enemies. This is the only time you really see it in the game. It's eh, something that I would not be opposed to. Whoa, that's more damage. Um, it's not the greatest arena there, but yeah, vaults in a any sort of any sort of roguelike game. It's pretty much single room, just completely, utterly packed with enemies, and that's the challenge. I think uh, I want to do another shell run. That was fun. Eh, not worth it. I think it originated back in Angban, Dongban, I don't know how to pronounce that. I never played that game all that much. It was okay, but compared to something like my favorite game, NetHack, not as robust. I also I didn't really like the whole town system compared to, you know, just the expectation that you're going to continue going on through the dungeon. Because basically, if you're not familiar with that game, and why would you be? <laughs> uh, you would get like scrolls of recall to go back to town whenever you start to run low on supplies. So, it's like if you were dying in the middle of the dungeon, you just warp all the way back to town, so go grab all your... Go grab all your uh, supplies that you need, maybe sell some stuff, see what's new in the town, blah blah blah. It pretty much trivialized the whole, uh... Wait, have I seen anything? Ah, oh, no, I missed a bunch of stuff. <laughs> okay, well, I gotta go back and get that. Oh, usually they put a uh, teleporter down here, which is why I didn't feel... Ah, whatever. But yeah, it pretty much trivialized the whole hunger mechanic. In, in traditional roguelike games, the entire reason why you continue to go down in the dungeon is because otherwise you're gonna get hungry and starve to death. But here in Angband, what would happen is that you would just warp back to town and grab some more rations. Boy, is this a conversation that nobody cares about. I mean, it's like even people that are like super into that game are probably like, boy, dude, you don't know anything about what you're talking about. And it's true, I didn't play that one as much as I played like Adom or something. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I should check that out again. Do a little series on the No. <laughs> no, I mean... Uh, people already don't watch me. I don't need to alienate them with, uh... Games entirely made in ASCII with no music or anything. <laughs> as much as I love them. Yeah, pretty standard Ramparts run. Ramparts is just... Aside from, yeah, like the Biter Zoo, there's not too much going on. I think this is like the only place where you can die from falls if you wanted to. Hmm. Yeah, this is the only place that you can die from, you know, quote unquote falling, which I think is. If you want to have a death on your stat screen from falling, this is the place you want to go. Ah. There we go. Also, I don't know, one more thing to say about Angband. Huge inspiration for uh, Diablo, so if you're a bit big into that game, you check it. Oh, come on, don't die here. Let me check it out. Of course, Diablo takes a lot of stuff from roguelikes. With the whole randomized loot system, randomized layout, blah, blah, blah. Ah, oh, you could say it was the original roguelite. Ah, I'm just talking out of my ass at this point. Let's go fight, uh, let's go fight an incomplete one. Meat grinder up there. Nah, I don't care. 
I mean, I can't use it anyway. It's the kind of outside of the range of this challenge, so. Not gonna be happening. Can I even get up? Yeah, I guess I can. You know, now that I think about it, never... Is this like a new... Is this like a new thing? I don't remember this area like being in the game previously. Huh. Well, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, I mean, for the most part, secret areas in this game have been largely quarantined to uh, the place where you get the quick bow, the place where you get the assassin's dagger, and the place where you get uh, the, the area where you get the crypt key. You know the one, man. Hit that up in every single one of my videos because it's so easy to do. Ah, whatever. I'm not going to do that. Famous last words. But yeah, I guess there may be one that I just straight up did not know about in the, in the ramparts here. Which, I mean, considering how infrequently I go to the ramparts. This is a hard game. Considering how infrequently I go to the ramparts. Yeah, that... Oh, come on. That, that was free! I cannot believe that- Oh. I generally don't go to the ramparts because you get a lot less stack games there. Uh, yeah, this was totally worth killing 4,000 undead archers to get. Oh. <laughs> Keep forgetting that you actually can interrupt his attacks. It's because you wouldn't think that those, uh, like, fire pillars would actually be a part of him, but apparently they are. Shh. Dad. I don't even need those cells, so whatever. Ooh! I'm going to the fog fuel. Can I hit up the, uh... If I really go fast, I might be able to hit the clock tower door. Yeah, sure, that'd be fun. Come on, motion twin, where's my reward for getting to the clock tower already? <laughs> Alright, let's go speedrun mode this. Oh, I mean, not true speedrun, I didn't need an assault shield for that. Or a better weapon <laughs> that I can use to kill dudes fast. Oh, come on, I'm already losing time here. Okay. Made out the explosion. Great, I'll go back and kill that running zombie. I feel like I need to at least kill one elite if given the possibility in these runs. <laughs> yeah, for fun zones. Okay, this is great. Being able to shoot only once and unable to hit multiple characters at once is going to be super good with the amount of... Wait. With the amount of... Well, yeah, I'm going to take this right now. With the amount of phasers that I have following me right now. Ah! Got it! I guess I actually had two phasers drop off me here. I think? I think I had four following me? All right. Pointless accomplishment accomplished. Check it off the list. What? <laughs> oh, I guess he was up there. Okay. I was wondering, just like, did he fall off the clock tower? What? What is going on? <laughs> Okay, uh, check for stats. Looking for the old scroll of power. Obviously, number one priority every single time. Oh, that bad is gonna get me. Eh, worthless. I mean, to be fair, I would totally like to have that, but... It's not part of the, not part of the challenge. And I am nothing if not a slave to the challenge. Oh, more specifically, it's like, what's the point of this series if I'm just gonna be doing, uh, regular runs? I, I guess there are plenty of people that do, like, just doing a bunch of regular runs for stuff. I mean, Northern Lion pretty much has built his entire channel overdoing Binding of Isaac, and that's pretty much just like a... God damn 
damn it. And that, at, the, at this point, is pretty much, um, you know, kind of half the uh, gameplay, half podcast. And I can respect that. I can re Hey, even if you don't like the hustle, you gotta respect the hustle. But, uh, okay, I do like it, so... Whatever. Eh, whatever. Eh, this doesn't make any sense. The, the metaphor is falling apart. <laughs> Not exactly Snoop Dogg here, you can tell. Okay, I... Honestly, I just gotta get out of the fog fjord at this point. Really need those stats, though, so... Oh, I hate the fog fjord. It's so huge and I constantly get lost in this place. I do like the look of the new phasers. It's significantly better than just those regular old white zombies that they used to be. The only thing is that I think the red and yellow is a little gaudy. If I change up like the color palette, I'd probably be okay with that. Also, maybe make it so their uh, arm hands, their hand arms, look a little less fat because they look a little chunky. It's just me. It's probably just me. <laughs> there we go. And the patch notes, they said that they were changing up the look of the, what they call them, runners. And it's like, that's not, and that, that's actually what grenadiers are. I think. No, the phasers. Yeah, phasers are what they're called. <laughs> For some reason, the patch notes, they called them runners. Which, like, runners would be like, don't even do this to me. <laughs> Yeah, runners would be those little blue zombies things. Those guys are called running zombies. It's like, that's what you kind of expect. And I was thinking, it's like, oh, finally, changing up the look of the running zombies. These things are terrible. They're just little, little miniature zombie dudes running after you. Make them more like a, I don't know, like a dumb looking version of a tracker or something like that. Trackers, I may say, are probably one of my favorite designs of the game. I think they look pretty good. Ah, oh, I didn't drop any vines here. I dropped some vines somewhere, right? It was over here. No, it wasn't. Ugh. Yeah, I think trackers are some of my favorite design of the game because they look like... They pretty much look like miniature versions of your character. Like, they got the... Oh, there's a vine. They got the uh, blue skin. They got the... Weird... Eyeball... Smoke... Head... Thing going on. I don't know what you call it. Drop that there. Another weird eyeball smoke head. They are just straight up using the twin blades. What am I looking for? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I want to go find scroll power, which is probably in one of these first two areas here. Ugh. It's the old good old fashioned getting lost in the fog fjord thing. I this game sometimes. This is also why I like that they have the sepulchre to be able to just totally skip. By the way, there it is. To be able to totally skip the fog fjord here because <laughs> almost more than anything else, it's like I just like not having to come here. Which is too bad because I really like the art design. It's very, um. Ah, uh, spoilers for Bloodborne. And. It's like the music's pretty decent. But like, ah, oh god, there's so many enemies. These pirate captains are just such a pain to deal with. Okay, it was, it was not here. It was the middle one, right? Yes, okay. Nope. Ah, <laughs> uh, squash that one in the, nip that in the bud. Yeah, if this game actually had any sort of lore, I think the trackers would probably play into it. Unfortunately, it doesn't. <laughs> I suppose a uh, tutorial guy did tell you that it's just like, hey, dude, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of guys like you. Except I guess you're like the nameless one or something from uh, Planescape Torment. You're like the only guy that has sapience. I don't know. Boy, you see that. Uh, that level chunk lit a lot. Hey! I mean, first off, 
Yes. <laughs> Can't you won't and you don't. Stop. Uh, I want to do... I want to do a flame torrent run, but I feel like I just put out the... Door. Yeah! I did it! <laughs> I want to do a flame torrent run, but I feel like that's a little too... Um, close after doing a lightning bolt run and be a little too similar. So I've kind of been putting it off. But it's like, Flame Torrent is a fun little item. It's not, like, amazing or anything, but... The, the ability to stand still and just shoot flames at dudes, yeah, that's fine. I ain't gonna say no to that. So what am I looking at right now? Nine strength, that's probably enough. Actually, when I get a moment here when I'm not being assaulted by catchers, 1609. That's not great, actually. I suppose it does have range. Range is good. Especially for the Watcher fight, where the guy's... Where the guy, despite being morbidly obese, still jukes around like crazy. Oh, no! <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was worrying. I didn't want to repeat of the shovel incident. Ugh. If I don't have to edit these videos, that's best for everybody. I, I don't know, unless you want to hear more hot tunes off the Okami soundtrack? Probably not going to be off the Okami soundtrack, right? Urgh! If I have to do another uh, montage, it'd probably be, I don't know, Etrian Odyssey music this time. Yeah, 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 yes! I did it! My compulsive uh, actions have been rewarded with nothing. Oil grenade. That'd be a fun run. <laughs> Just do it with the absolutely minimal amount of damage that you get from using the oil grenade on, well, anything. Should I just call it here and go to the play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've already had too many close calls. Let's call her a day and go uh, beat up a big old eyeball, man. Ah, damn it! Okay, come on. <laughs> call day, go beat up big old eyeball, man. Go beat up the uh, spirit of rareware. Well, first off, though. Uh, I don't think it would technically break the conduct that I'm going for, but... It's not in the spirit of the run, you know? You dick. It's not in the spirit of the run. I mean, I, and, and if there's nothing else I want to do here, it's have intact the... The challenge that I'm going for, because otherwise it's like, why even do a challenge? There we go. Disappointed I didn't get a heart this time. Usually, I, it's like they're pretty common in the first floor, but not common enough, obviously. Yeah, what else we got? What else? I feel like if I stomp down, I'm just gonna go directly into spikes. Probably want to avoid that. Considering, again, so many close calls. I should go look for the shop or for more... I... Oh, here it is. Oh, no, this is just the miniature one. Yeah, what else we got? What else we got? I'm not super happy with uh, health right now. Health is very low. But, uh, screw it. <laughs> Boy, the collector is just... So worthless at this point. Come on, Washington, where's more content? <laughs> All right, shoot open the door. Let's go. The water fight. Oh, God, that damage. <laughs> yeah, just, just sit right there. Hang tight. I'll, I'll get you.
I suppose I can hit him across the room, but... <laughs> oh, that damage. Okay, uh, here's gonna be the plan. I'm gonna get each one of these dudes down pretty low. Get hit. <laughs> gonna get each one of these dudes down pretty low and then try to take them all out. And now oh, that already didn't work. <laughs> so screw it. We're gonna go with the single tentacle. Single tentacles are pretty easy. Come on. All right, I have Cthulhu. Let's do this. Let's just hold still. Not holding still, by the way. Ow! There we go. Just lob a few arrows in his dumb face. Come on. See, this is why I want to just. This is why I want to just say, ah, you know what? Screw the watcher fight. Time to time to speed. <laughs> I too speed don't have to do commentary because there's nothing to say here. <laughs> I'm shooting a ton of arrows at this guy. It's like, what more do you want from me? <laughs> I'm shooting so, so many arrows, infinite arrows, and oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me there. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. One could say infinite arrows. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, well, that's a hard thing with doing a watcher fight. Kind of planning it out so it's perfect. Just flawlessly executed. There we go. Two is easier to deal with. Just gotta watch out for the one that sweeps the legs. Get my own. Oh, so close. Okay, good. I actually got him in, in mid. Uh, dash there. Uh, I guess I can say, um... Nope. I did want to do, like, a shield-only run, like, go get the spiked shield, uh, do it straight up, like, get back here. I didn't want to attempt a shield-only run, just, like, only shield 100 for... Dick. Attempt a 100% shield run, but it's like that's not possible because although you can block the tentacles coming out, or yeah, coming out of the ground, it does not actually do any damage to the tentacles. So, like, the first tentacle phase would be impossible. I guess, unless I was gonna try to Goomba. No! <laughs> unless I was gonna try to Goomba stomp them, but you know. I may have to re attempt this one. Well. That was unnecessary. Uh. Yeah, I could try to Goomba Stomp the Tentacles, but that doesn't work as well as you think. I could also try to just get like a specific... What do you call it? Um, music loop. Try to get a specific... Specific... Um, what's the word am I thinking of? Uh, necklace. A necklace that has like some sort of ability to put down fire on the... Come on, stop it! to put fire on the ground or something, and oh, I'm dead. All right, jump cut.
Okay, that took several attempts, but I'm back here. Ugh. Not with more health, of course, but with significantly more damage. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure they should be able to do it this time. Oh, come on. Yep, yep, facing the wrong direction. No, this is going to go great already. Oh my god. Oh, why are you doing this to watch it? So two hits seems to mostly take out tactical. One, two, and okay, now let's just chain destroy him here. Oof. Had a an okay cursed sword run attempt there. I just, boy, it's gonna be hard to do that run. If you couldn't already tell. But I feel like I'm confident that I can actually do it when the time comes. I suppose we'll see. Two. Oh boy, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, okay. I'll mostly take out one, that'll take out one, and whatever. It, that should be enough damage to, each one to, to do this. And yeah. Still got that thing where you can just keep continuously falling off of a, an edge. No. No. Also a thing where you can just shoot the edge of a platform like that, which is... <sighs> Whatever, it's fine. Whatever, it's fine. As if I can't deal with that. As if I haven't dealt with that every single time I fought the Watcher in one of these dumb runs so far. It's a good thing that you can still uh, dodge cancel out of being able oh! It's a good thing you can still dodge cancel out of uh, pulling your bow out here. I mean, if you couldn't, that would be an issue. And final stretch. Uh, and he's actually in a good position there. Not now. There we go. Oh, bow and infinite arrows. What a chore. But hey, it's done now. Didn't even get to see that. Let's go shoot a couple arrows at uh, Tentacle McGee over here and end the run done. Throw another one in the can. Blah, blah, blah. Let's do it. 